In this video, I'll show you how to set up your Launchpad Pro with FL Studio and give you an overview of the functions on the Launchpad. Connect your Launchpad to your computer using the provided USB cable. Open FL Studio and go to Options, MIDI Settings. Select your Launchpad Pro's MIDI in and MIDI out as shown on screen. This is what the setup will look like on PC. And this is what the setup will look like on a Mac. Then select Generic Controller from this drop down menu. Ensure that Enable is selected and exit the settings. Your Launchpad Pro is now set up and ready to use with FL Studio. If you want to control parameters inside FL using your Launchpad, then you can do so using the custom modes. Right click on a parameter that you'd like to control, such as the cutoff of a synth. Select Link to Controller, and then press one of the faders. You can now control this parameter using the fader that you just pressed. Now let's explore the functions on the Launchpad Pro. Firstly, we have the note mode. The note mode has two different views. We have chromatic note mode, which shows us all of the available notes, but highlights the notes in the currently selected scale. Pink pads represent the root note. The blue pads represent the notes in the currently selected scale. and the notes that are outside of the currently selected scale remain unlit. As well as chromatic mode, you can also view your notes in scale mode, which hides the notes that are out of key. To turn on scale mode, go to the note mode settings by holding shift and pressing note. Press this red pad so that it turns green to turn on scale mode and return to the note mode by pressing note. Now we only see the notes in the currently selected scale, so it's impossible to play something that's out of key. You can progress to a more in-depth tutorial on the note mode later on if you wish to. Chord mode is designed for you to easily explore, build, save and play complex chords right from the grid and quickly find new harmonies. Here you have a selection of notes which are in your chosen scale, and you can play the scale running up the first column. Any three notes in a given row will create a triad, which is a simple three note chord. The orange pads will play the triads or the chords in your chosen key. And these are inverted or structured so that all of the notes are in the same octave so that they sound coherent when used together in progressions. The gray pads on the right hand side allow you to save your own chords and this is called the chord bank. You can lock the chords in the chord bank so that you don't accidentally add or remove notes from them using the chord lock button in the bottom right of the grid. The pink pad next to it is a sustain pad, which acts like a sustain pedal on a piano. You can progress to a more in-depth tutorial on the chord mode later on if you wish. Custom modes turn the Launchpad's 8x8 grid into a deeply customizable control surface. Whether you're looking to control devices inside your software or parameters on a hardware synthesizer, custom modes allow you to create templates that suit your needs.
there are eight custom modes available on the Launchpad Pro, which you can switch between using the track select buttons. The default custom modes range from a bank of eight faders in slot one, four octaves of keyboard layout in slot four, and more. Novation Components is the hub to create, store, and explore custom modes. You can progress to a more in-depth tutorial on the custom modes later on if you wish. The Launchpad Pro contains a four-track sequencer which can be used to control software and hardware. You can switch between the four tracks using the four illuminated track select buttons. In the steps view, you have a blue 32-step sequencer at the top of the grid, and depending on what you want to sequence, you can choose between viewing a drum grid, a scaled keyboard, or a chromatic keyboard to input notes. In the patterns view, you can access eight individual patterns per track, which are all 32 steps long, and can be chained or grouped together using scenes. Scene launch buttons three to seven on the right of the launch pad allow you to access the stated functions on the fifth and sixth rows of the launch pad. For example, pattern settings and more. In the settings view, you can select whether you want to display a drum grid, a scaled keyboard, or a chromatic keyboard in the play area. And you can also change the selected scale, which is common across the note mode, chord mode, and sequence of view. And finally, here in the settings, you're able to choose the MIDI channel that each of the sequencer tracks sends out MIDI on from one to 16. The Projects tab allows you to save all of your sequencer content and the currently selected scale. You can progress to a more in-depth tutorial on the sequencer later on if you wish. Please progress onto the next page where you can choose to learn the Launchpad Pro in more depth, or you can let us know that you've got everything that you need and we'll show you the next steps.